Hey, this guy. To be fair to myself, yeah. Every breath a reminder that I don't know. To be fair to myself, yeah. Life's an odd thing to feel. I'm here to feel. I'm here to feel. I'm done running from it. I'm getting up. This is a kind of video I thought about doing a lot of times, but then I'll talk myself out of it because I'd be like, do I really have advice for anybody? But today, the advice is for me. Well, it's just lessons I've learned, so it is important because I say so, which is the first lesson. Things are only as important as I make them. That goes for just about anything. My interactions with people on a daily, comments from people like online and stuff. People always have something to say. I cannot put a lot of weight on compliments that I get or criticisms that I get because if I put weight on one, I put weight on the other by default. I know about myself and so once I focus on myself and trying to have empathy for people even though I don't have to, that makes it easier to just let a lot of shit slide. Guys, but then you're not supposed to rinse your mouth when you're done brushing your teeth. Look. I feel like I'm just swallowing toothpaste though. And that's that way people get minty fresh breath. Guys, what was I talking about? If you think somebody is shitty, don't keep them around just because there's nobody else. Like, please, it's better just be alone. This goes for relationships, friendships, familiar, fam familial relationships. Like, just don't give stupid people the time of day. Whenever somebody does wrong to me, some of that anger or frustration, those feelings, whatever those are, some of it is also directed to me because I'm upset that I allowed somebody to treat me that way. So that goes for a lot of things. Like I really have to sit and forgive myself. It's not only about forgiving the other person with time. I also have to forgive myself for letting them treat me that way. Really saying to myself, it's okay. You trusted this person in whatever capacity. And they did this. And you're not stupid. You're not naive. People are not always kind. Which brings us to my next point. I have been stupid. <laughs> to think that everybody's me. I've been very naive to trust people and like just be so excited to be close to somebody that I believe that everybody's genuine. Everybody's not genuine. People can smile in your face and insist that they do not wish you any ill harm and be working overtime behind the scenes to make sure they see your downfall. It's not bad to look at a relationship and say, I do this for you, but you don't do this for me. I do this for you, but you don't do this for me. And then adjust. It's not every time that I have to stop being friends with the person. Sometimes I just have to minimize and move them from friend to acquaintance. Help to my life. Remember to take the time to like really evaluate how is this person acting? Do they show up? Do they only communicate when they need something? When you have or decide that these are like clearly the top five relationships, put effort in those and then everything else, let it be light, let it be fun, let it be cute. I have a lot to learn from my younger self about my interests, about who I was before the world started intervening, the courage that my younger self had, the determination, the belief, the drive. Also, having in my mind that I'm doing it for my younger self really helped. Lately, I've really been feeling like, wow, I'm seriously becoming those girls who I used to admire so much in music videos when I was younger. That made me really happy. That made me feel like I'm making my younger self Proud. When I measure myself by my younger self standard, I feel a lot better. You just have to set your own standards in life. I'm not necessarily where I thought I would be, but then at the same time I am. And where I thought I, I would be doesn't, it just doesn't look exactly how I thought it would look. Although going into content creation, I wanted to go viral so bad at some point. I think I actually genuinely prefer the slow growth 
in that I'm building something I feel will withstand time. I had an idea of what content creation as a job would be and don't super well. There's another lesson. Just don't super well because everything isn't always what it seems. You have big brands with big bands refusing to pay you your cash and it's not like so super glamorous all the time most of the time really life life's what you make it and i need to stop talking in disney channel lyrics at the end of the day i enjoy making content you really have to stand your ground and know your worth yeah this applies in the job sense but also in just the life sense have your standards know your worth my parents may have been right <laughs> Yo, I've learned that it's hard to admit when my parents were right about something that like my younger self fought and fought and was like, no, you're wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong. And life was like, um, actually, your parents are correct. I've come to understand why they insisted I do a law degree first. I do appreciate it also when I'm working and I get contracts because I have learned knowledge about certain terms. My parents may have been right about this industry and about me having a degree i can fall back on in the sense that the creative industry is really at its infancy and so people don't understand rates yet it's not normalized that for somebody to dance at this one thing for two minutes i have to pay them five thousand bucks people still don't understand all the work that goes into that two minute performance or three minute performance and why each dancer deserves five thousand minimum another thing i've learned from working a corporate job the business politics exists everywhere i would argue that it's even worse in the corporate space for now i'm enjoying being a freelancer it gives me time to do what i want another thing i've learned we can't not be authentic we've seen other people in the content creation space make things look otherwise than they are authenticity is important i'd like to build an audience that i have a connection with and i can't really have a connection with people and discuss like my quirky interests if i'm a fake ass bitch in line with being authentic i have to share my feelings you choose when to give a fuck and then if you do give a fuck say something say it just say it because it's gonna be on your chest whether you like it or not whatever the outcome you're gonna feel better having said it i'm telling me I'm telling me right now, more often than not, it shows me somebody's intentions with me. If somebody wants to hear your point, they will hear your point. If somebody wants to make you a villain, they will make you a villain. It's another thing. I should just do whatever I want because people are talking anyways. It just was a wake up call. That even when you are intending and trying to be good and do good, it can come off the wrong way, number one. And it's very easy to solve if there's just a conversation. You move forward and do better. But two, people can intentionally take you the wrong way. And people do that with me a lot. And I just talk, guys. It's fine. Have your rumors. It's okay. Those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Period. She do be remembering quotes. If you say what you need to say and they fall off, then they had to fall off. Yes, don't equal a strong relationship. I refrain from talking about my relationship a lot because I don't want to invite conversation and drama, but don't behave like a wife before marriage. I'm in a five-year relationship at this point, and it's interesting it's it's interesting the concept of having a life partner like when you think about it you and this other stranger you guys grew up your own ways you meet each other and then you decide okay let's do this life thing together like it's really it's a lot and i'm learning that it's a lot of learning <laughs> it's like stuff about money management or ideals about the world or how you want to raise your kids those kind of conversations like compromising adapting to another person trying to maintain your own identity space is necessary i've understood more my mom saying like don't rush to live together have your own space first so to go back to my initial point about not being a wife too early i mean i should not you should not we all should not treat their problems as your problems it's weird to say that right because it's your person you want to help but don't over interfere in your partner's life they are their own person you are your own person there are lessons that we have to go through together and there are also lessons that we have to 
go through individually and if you interfere too much sometimes you stunt your partner's growth sometimes when you love a person you have to take a step back and say you're overspending doesn't mean i must also be broke that's you baby figure it out i'm so sorry and i'm going out with my girls sometimes people choose horrible people over you I'm like ah, oh, and you just have to be okay with it. I don't cut myself breaks sometimes. Like I wanna be able to understand everything, and it's like no girl. Sometimes it's fine not. To. I have learned to enjoy my own company. Something I need to be doing also when I'm alone is instead of thinking about oh people are doing this together or doing this together or doing this together, I need to focus that energy on doing stuff for myself. I also learned I have to speak up and like in include myself. It's as simple as saying oh I'm also interested. It's not always about getting my feelings hurt when I see things. And if you are interested in some things, just do it. I was interested in doing voiceover work, so I did. I was interested in emceeing, so I'm doing it. I wanted to make a ranking video like all the American YouTube was make so i did it i don't know what was stopping me in my head but i've started to be like just do it just do it do it you know just keep going that's not like just keep going that's it and i feel like that's enough i tried to be very honest because i challenged myself to post an honest youtube video this month yes to quarter of a century i cannot believe i'm 25 the older i get the more i'm sure that the, i the less i know like nobody knows things everybody's just going about with vibes that's life people are fake protect your energy it's better to be alone than in the wrong environment when you meet somebody when you're dealing with anybody when you're anxious about how they are perceiving receiving you ask yourself about how you are perceiving and receiving them do you even like them that's helped me a lot if you're not receptive to different perspectives you won't grow even if you don't necessarily agree with the perspective the fact that the perspective is out there it means something and you gotta discover what it's relevant to you and your growth and your journey i can be my own best friend and it does feel good it still it feels as good as coming from anybody else i love me i love me and it's enough oh my gosh not me crying is that it are we done on a very more serious note even though i struggle a lot with suicidal thoughts or feeling like what else am i supposed to do in life i'm done there's no more can i just be taken out as much as i have those kind of thoughts i have my depressive episodes i push people away i feel like nobody understands me i don't think i don't think i actually want to die although i feel those thoughts and they are so strong and i i have to i feel like i literally have to fight them and stop myself from thinking about where the pills are in the house i'm fairly certain that my suicidal thoughts are liars with that being said happy birthday to me well done on reaching 25 look at you you're 25 years old Ugh. i love you so much and i'm so proud of you and all the growth the growth that people can see but also the growth that not everybody gets to see and the work that you've been putting into becoming the person that you want to be i'm very proud of you cut yourself some slack because you're doing well you're doing really well and you have a lot more to give so don't give up focus on you yes i've formed great relationships great people but you never know what may happen or may not happen and the first relationship you should always care about is the one with yourself and i'm happy with you so i hope you're happy with yourself <laughs>